Today we're talking about the main system of the golf swing. Let's get cracking. Yes, sir. Okay, so first off, describing and understanding what the main system is is important. Mm -hmm. So we've got the humerus okay. in both arms, okay? Both scaps, okay? And the scapulas, TJ, turn around for us. Good. They're the wings right back here. Okay. TJ's got a really nice set of scaps. So okay. You can really see them. Thanks. They're right in here. Thanks, You're coach. welcome, man. I, I like them. They're really beautiful scaps. Okay. And then we've got the spine. Yep. The whole spine. Okay. So from right up here in C, C spine going all the way down here. Okay. Then we got pelvis and then we got ribs. Okay. So, so humerus, scap, spine, ribs, pelvis. Main system. Got it. Main okay. system. Like it. Okay, great. So how that all generally moves is important. And let's go from like a distal look and then start to work our, our way into proximal. So, so humorous first? Yep. Di distal is like, think of the term distance furthest away from you. And then proximal is closest to you, like center of mass as a person. Got it. So I'm talking about these suckers. Okay. Okay. Because we can move them in space in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could lift. Okay, we can make them go side to side. We can rotate them. Okay, we can do a lot of different things with them. Sure. The active stuff that we would like the arms to do is a small amount of, I'm not even gonna say lift because we think of lift as like going straight up. Okay, the, this shoulder flexion is that action where we're going, the, this is moving away from my ribs. Mm -hmm. Yep, so if you just sent energy at me, there you go. That's the act that we're looking for in the arms. Okay. And again, arms. Okay. Not arms. Got it. Arms. Okay. Beautiful. When you do that, what does that make the scaps do? If you did that with both arms, what, what do the scaps do? Uh, they protract and maybe elevate a little bit. Yep. Mostly, mostly, mostly protract. protract. Exactly. Because yep. they're going like out away from me yep. this way. Exactly. So think of protraction as like bear hug mode right? Retraction would be this way. So he's definitely not retracting as that's happening at all. Yeah, it's, couldn't, yeah couldn't do that. can't do that, right? They, they protract a little bit. Exactly, exactly. So they'll do that because the arms are sent, sending energy this direction. Got it. Okay, now if we do that again, do that same act again, that ain't golf swing. No. Doesn't look like golf swing. No. So we need something to happen to make that look like golf swing. What do we need to have happened? What are you? What are we missing? Like the big, the big map. I mean, I'd say generally it's probably uh, rib rotation. There you go. Um, okay. And maybe a little bit of rib bend as well, but rib yep, rotation yep. to but get the, the arms going this way. Exactly. Just the main map right here uh -huh. is just okay. Can I move the arms that way? But we still need this act. So what do you need the ribs to do? There you go. So if you just did this teach, just let the arms kind of hang on your chest. Okay. Just turn the ribs that way. Good. Excellent. Now, can you do the same thing? Now we're looking more golfy. Now we're looking more golfy. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now, let's just do the exact same thing that direction because we want the arms, okay, to fire towards the target. So right now the camera is the target. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn the ribs and then fire the arms. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's excellent. Okay, so let's grab a stick now. Okay. Okay, we'll we're not going to talk about the pelvis at all yet. Okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and set up like we're going to hit one. We're not going to hit a ball yet. But what I want you to do is we're going to freeze, like lock this out, lock these guys out. So there's like no movement. These are rigid, the legs and the hands. Okay. So from the elbow down into here, firm. Okay. All we're going to do to start off, rib rotation, and then fire the arms in the direction that they should be moving. Boom. There you go. Good. Okay. Now let's go the other way. Let's go ahead and set up to the golf ball. Okay. And now let's go forward side. So again, legs don't do jack. You're just turning your ribs, turning your ribs, and then firing the arms towards the target. There you go. Excellent. Let's go ahead and hit one with just that map. So we're here, turn fire, turn fire. Good. Good. Excellent. Okay, now 
that we'll we'll just call this like the thumpy exercise. That's because it is thumpy. It yeah. is definitely thumpy. Okay, and we'll have uh, especially like juniors that I personally work with. This is one of the go tos mm. that I want players to to have. Like we got to have that kind of a map, that kind of a pattern, because there's plenty of hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's plenty of like feeling of rotation in here, but yes. it's not in here. Agreed. Okay, so let's add one little item. This is very much mirror-esque. Okay. What's happening over here feels like the same thing's happening over here. Okay. We're just going to throw in a, an amount of drop in the pelvis in between both of those phases. Okay, so we're not, we're not going to start rotating the pelvis. Nope. We're just going to throw in... Drop. Drop. Okay. Drop, exactly. So, see if I understand that right. So, we're going to go... Rib rotation. Mm -hmm. Still trying to kind of keep these legs still as I do this. Yep, right. yep. Send the arms. Yep. And as I send the arms, I'm going to drop. Yep, exactly. So it's like turn, fire the arms, drop, turn, fire the arms. That's it. And you just lock out those legs like they're not doing anything. They're just like frozen. Stability, stability, stability down here. Yep. Turn, fire, drop, turn, fire. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Now, it doesn't necessarily feel or seem like totally golfy because most people in their in their idea of like golf swing is like this big full finish. Mm -hmm. There's this big backswing kind of stuff. Let's do the same exact map right there. These are locked out. Okay. Your hands are locked out. Turn, fire, drop, turn, fire. Good. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now, we were kind of talking a little bit about like the arms and what they can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the backswing, there's this act. Okay. Okay. So if I'm going turn, and now I've got this like shoulder flexion to send the arms back and away. Now as I drop, once they're back there, good. Now the arms will feel like they just go right across that AD and abduction. Yep, exactly. They just fire across. They don't fire down anymore. So the thump act, and we talk about this a lot, but this is such an important like matchup in players' minds, is from here, the arms don't actively work down. Because if I move the arms actively down, then the pelvis has to elevate. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So when we think about like a hitting pattern, if I have an ax in a tree, right, I'm sure not going to send force down here and then elevate the pelvis to yep. hit that tree. I'm probably again, half a strand of DNA of athleticism, I'm going to probably step, turn, and send the arms this direction. So they're, they're across. Even if I wanted to hit instead of like the middle of the tree, I'm going to hit the base of the tree. I'm still going to do the same thing with them going across. They're not yep. going to actively lower. Got it. So we need to teach ourselves that even though there's a pebble down here that I want to hit and the arms are all the way up here, it's not sending energy this way. It's sending energy across. There you go. That's more the hit. Okay. There you go. So the pelvis, pelvis's main job to match that action up with the arms is to drop to, to support drop. that move. So we got turn, toss, drop, and the arms go across. There you go. Awesome. Now and if I you can thin it more. like that one, I there you go. More. Yeah. That's it. And this is where a lot of people like, we'll post stuff on pelvic drop. Uh -huh. And because people don't understand the matchup with the arms or the ribs or any of that other stuff, then they go, well, I'm just going to fat it every time. Yeah. You're right. Because if, if I drop and send force down, no way I'm going to hit that ball. If I'm just I drop bury. and send force level. Forward, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that was again. cool because you sent the arms forward. We just need enough drop to support that. There we go. Thump. Oh, thump house. Yeah. And that's why we call it the thumpy exercise yep. because you just heard the, yeah, it's just deep. <laughs> oh, I owned it. It's like sound, right? Yeah. And you feel it too. Like yeah. it's this heavy, heavy hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the other cool thing when we're talking about now, like this is kind of an intricacy in all of this, this map. When a player drops the pelvis, so let's, let's say that I'm in a squat rack here and I'm just kind of in, in normal standing position. Yes. As I drop the pelvis, 
my entire spine starts to go into more extension. It does, yes. So this would be a really bad squat pattern. Right. I'm gonna blow up every disc in my back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not supportive. So when we're dropping, it's not this drop. The drop is this way and you'll, you'll feel it like elongate the spine. You'll definitely feel it in, in like the middle of your spine, right in the T-spine area. Sure. Okay. And what that will do as well is, as the arms are swinging away mm -hmm. and I drop, the scaps elevate slightly yep. because of that. And the scaps are cool because they just like float on the ribs. Mm -hmm. So scap elevation is this. And it's just because of the directionality of the force that I'm sending. If I turn and I send force this way, they protract. They're protracting actively because of the arm action. Mm -hmm. As I drop the pelvis, there goes the, there goes the spine. Yeah, but now the scaps start to elevate slightly because of that. And this is like massive tissue load, but yeah, we're talking about bones right now and where they're moving in space, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. But that pelvic drop, we just need a better idea of what's actively happening. Mm -hmm. What's actively happening is the pelvis is lowering. And what actively happens too is then the spine starts to go in a proper amount of extension, mm -hmm. okay, especially in the mid-back, and the scaps passively go into a little bit of elevation. So by no means am I saying that we're like actively no. elevating them. It's that when I go here and the arms send away, the scaps protract. As I drop with that, there you go. And you'll feel all this stuff load up. And by the way, like all the proper amount of side bend most likely is going to happen because of that action. Mm. Okay? Okay. So when you do this, Tej, I'd love to see, again, we're locked out here. We're not doing anything in the extremities. Okay. Okay? But we're going to turn, fire, and once you fire... You're going to drop and you'll feel that entire spine elongate. Good. And then from there, now you're good. You just can fire these suckers across and that becomes the hit. Okay. Beautiful. And you'll notice Tej, like in his mock reps, he'll drop in and then these arms just almost like go across the chest. Mm -hmm. This is typically a great mock rep for most players. Yep. Because again, like, you are going to turn. And this is kind of the proof. Go, go throw that club down for me if you could, and then just face the camera, like just here in posture, good. And then just ball up your fist over here on your right side. Okay, now hit me fairly firm, hard. Okay, good. Now, where were you generally focused? In the hand. Okay, in the hand. Mm -hmm. Did you turn? I'm facing, facing that way About right now. About 90 degrees. Yeah. Okay, so the idea here wasn't turn, 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 and just pull on this. The idea here is to fire this across. But I mean, again, half a strand of athletic DNA. Am I gonna I, do this? No, and I've <laughs> never gone ball up a fist and punch me, and somebody goes yeah. wah. Yeah, like, I, I it hear doesn't you. happen because this of will... the intentionality of where you're directing force. The rotation happens as a result of it. And the and the the purpose of this is to better understand support systems. Mm -hmm. This is the support system. Support system of the arms. We want to hit with the arms. Mm -hmm. They're the main speed. Yep. They're also the main precision. Mm -hmm. If we're moving force in a good way, in yes. a proper manner, you can gain more and more precision because of that. Agreed. But the idea here, folks, is like you don't need to go turn, fire the arms, drop, and then just turn and leave these suckers behind. Uh -huh. There's a drop and then fire. If you do that and just this idea of like this is the thump, this will support yes. most often. Like very rarely do I ever have to go, oh, dude, your arms are out racing. We need to speed this up. Like, no. I actually don't know if I've ever said that to a student. Sure. Right? Yeah. There might be a drive phase to keep going to finish or something I like mean, that. And, and there, the might, there might be all this, you know, lowering and arm sure. rotation. There might be all that, right? But Improper that's, a, that's sort of a different. Of force. Exactly right. It's a different pattern. It's a different pattern. You rarely see person direct force the right yep. way. And their body doesn't respond. Exactly. It may actually not happen. So this matchup, which again, we talk about this uh, quite a bit in a lot of our, especially our recent videos, is mm -hmm. the matchup is we want this across feeling of the arms and the hit. And the matchup to that is pelvic drop. So I can do that. So if you're dropping and these are going here, mm -hmm. that's the hit and you will turn. Yep. It's just if I'm lowering this, this elevates. And then the spine, which is a different topic, it's got to like... If I'm lowering, the golf club is going to pitch over, and late ex late extension and tilt in the spine is a shallowing mat exercise to move the golf club in that space. And so that's why we won't see 
a lot of rib or thoracic rotation mm -hmm. through the hip. It's just because of the, the map of force is wrong. Wrong. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So let's do that again, okay. teach. But again, we just have this idea of like the legs are just stable. You're not doing anything with the legs. You're not doing anything with the hands. This is just the thumper exercise. Turn, force, drop, force. Good. And let's see it in one motion now. Okay. Again, no movement in the legs. They're just stable. I think I forget that sometimes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you can play golf with that shit. And obviously, <laughs> obviously, really a, a viewer watching that, my legs moved there. Um, yeah. I, I think the intentionality to keep them more stable just makes sure they don't go do anything crazy, right? Exactly. But they responded to the movement yes. that my chest was making, which and, is interesting. And if you do it, yeah, exactly, because there's so much force that it just leaks. Mm -hmm. It leaks through tissue in your body. If you do that with less energy, you'll be able to stay stable. Sure. So let's hit I one, like, what do you got, eight iron or seven iron or something? Seven, yeah. Yeah, hit this 100 yards in the air. Okay. But it's still thumpy. There you go. Okay. So the thump is this main system. Yep. How the humerus. So stacks. that doesn't that doesn't change regardless of if I'm trying to hit this 200 or 100, Not right? Exactly. So same system. All of a sudden, you'll see all these other parts of the body sort of respond. Yeah. But and the again, main system is that thumpy. Yeah, and th this is what we're getting at, folks. You're, like, what we're describing, like, to be honest, the reason that we make these videos, like, our mission and infatuation is, like, we make a video, you put these ideas in to your system of movement or your golf swing, whatever you want to call it, and you hit better shots. Yes. Okay? Like, that's what we're infatuated with. Uh -huh. Like. If, if it doesn't happen, we want to hear that and like see a pattern and like, oh, I see what you're trying to do and like help mm -hmm. you with that map too. So that, oh, I'm thumped out. Yes. Right? What we see most players do is they screw up this main system because they just have the a wrong understanding of what's going on in this main system. It, it would be great to like, okay, the arms are working well, mm -hmm. the body's supporting that. Okay. Once that gets done, now what am I doing in my hands to load and organize Matchups. the club? Like that's simple stuff. Same thing with the feet and the legs. Like the, the problem is, is that if people don't have the right intentionality of the main system, then you can spend all your time on matchups, but you're not gonna get any better. Which is what you see out of most doors, <laughs> yes, right? Is that. like there's just all this like stuff. Stuck, in, stuck in the mud. Stuck yeah, the mud. exactly. And we're just messing around with like salt and pepper and we didn't even buy our steak yet yes like dude get your main course done like you need this stuff operating well and then you can go like okay well i would like to have the face a little more shut because i want to release it in xyz like and then all the stuff makes a little bit more sense yeah. like um a lot of people will see a move that we're describing and just beat their head into a wall trying to do it and they're like why doesn't it look like well probably because the intentionality <laughs> from the get-go is wrong exactly. how you're setting up could be wrong how you how you're doing these little basic exercises could be wrong and then you're screwed dude. yeah like <laughs> totally. And like to that point, the basic exercises aren't just for beginners. No, they're for everyone. They're for everybody. If, and I, if I wasn't to do these on a, on a regular basis, my swing wouldn't look the way it looks. That's exactly right. And it, it, and for, for me, right, I coach this stuff all the time. And like some of the best training that I do is when I'm coaching because I'm showing. Mm -hmm. But then even if I'm getting ready for a tournament or a round of golf, I still allocate five, ten reps of like some exercise like this. Mm -hmm that gets me right. Like, ah, oh, I feel, feel stuff. And mm -hmm. then I can like mess around with some other stuff. If I'm like overcutting it for a day, I can mess with like my hands and stuff, but that's way later. I got to get the basics down. Mm -hmm. That's a Nicholas quote, like fundamentals. Jack, why are you the best player in the world? Because I treat myself like a beginner every single day. Mm -hmm. So like you never outwork like this basic stuff. We okay. have to get back to baseline so that you feel good athletically mm -hmm. okay let's see one more okay just a good heavy thumper but good it's the map babies. right the legs are stable the hands aren't doing jack you just know force direction you know how this whole system is working and execute on that system thumpers hit freaking thumpers you said something uh 
really interesting earlier about, um, you know, when, when players, we want players to hit better golf shots. Mm -hmm. um, and the feedback that you provide in the comments helps us to understand whether the language that we are using is actually helping you. And this is why our videos are going to get better and better and better over time. So yeah. please comment and ask whatever questions you have. It helps make us better, helps make you better. 100%. 100%.